What's going on, y'all, man? It be me, official Drayla. You hear me? Hold on now. This video is a little bit different, and the only reason I'm saying it's a little bit different is because my colors, my saturation and stuff is kind of messed up on my secondary screen. So that's why things look a little bit foggy. That's why the green don't really look a bit green. And that's why also I got a green screen chroma key right now. So I'm asking why it looks so weird, like the colors not popping and stuff like that. You feel me? That's literally the reason I just done told you. Now here go another thing. You feel me? I'm gonna have all my audio coming out of one source. So. If the mic sounds like I'm too far away, honestly, I'm about to deal with that right now. I'm going to just have to live with it for the current second. I got to live with my mic being being in my face right now. I hate this, but, like, it is what it is. I got to, in case I got to throw some hands. If y'all didn't know, I am a 76ers fan. Well, I'm from Philly, but, you know, I'm a LeBron fan. So, I'm rooting on my man's Joel. I'm rooting on my man's, you feel me, Tyrese. And you me as well y'all if you didn't know the god dag on timberwolves and suns game is about to come on and i'm reacting to this video before the game oh my god ass you feel me and i'm going to premiere this video on the 30th on the last day of the month because like i said i was going to be giving you guys some reactions etc and so forth but i've been talking for way too long thank you for hearing my rainbow i want to get this video to 15 likes if we can get this video to 15 likes bro we're going even more crazy here we go I gotta turn the audio up because we gotta go hard. It's about to, hey, and for me, it's about to sound like I'm in the actual arena. Another chance for Philadelphia, the ultimate utility guy for the Knicks, and it's spilled over here into the postseason for a great early start. Go! Hey! It's okay to say we want more from Tobias. If you were talking about being a championship contending team, he's not supposed to be hitting them. Did y'all know that man Hartenstein is black? Did, did y'all know that man is black? Bro? That that white guy, that that cl clearly white guy that, that just dunked the ball that grabs like 20 rebounds a game at the current moment but averages like six or seven points and, and buys into his role is a black person. He's black. His dad is black. Interesting basketball. Let's go on. I get wanting to get your offense set up, but secure the basketball first on that offensive rebound. Maxine. Averaging 31 points per game in the series. Step back three. Husket. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Joel. Hard finds Brunson. Euros and floats it home. Jalen Brunson. I'm not going to lie. The only person that we need to stop at 76ers is Jalen Brunson. All we need to do is contain Jalen Brunson. Nobody else is really going to be going crazy like that. I don't really expect the Knicks to make it past the third round. But here goes my thing. Jalen Brunson is a bucket. Now, if he truly and I when I and I say this with all due respect to Jalen Brunson, if he truly had a three ball on him, because he can shoot a three here and there. Like he can go like two of eight, three of seven, you know, three of six, maybe five of five on, on a rare day. You feel me, big dog, big homie, big ace. But like he, that if he had truly that shot on him, like how people speak on Curry or Dame Lillard, I I I'd, I'd, I'd be pretty pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, let's continue. Sixers have to be very pleased with the start here in Game Four, holding the Knicks under 32 percent shooting. Coming on minutes ago in the first, Embiid the lob, Harris the finish, and now it's just about distributing and allowing your teammates to step up to the occasion. Here's Brunson turning. Finishing Jalen Brunson. Bro, this shit makes me so fucking mad because Joel Embiid is out there forcing himself to play while hurt, leg completely and utterly destroyed and fucked up. You feel me? And he out there playing because obviously he can still hoop drop 50, you know, in a must win game. It's the most of you feel me, big dog. But it's crazy, man. It, it, it really, it really is absolutely, completely, and utterly insane. Yeah, starting coming off the bench, it doesn't matter. He's had a big impact. That's good defense. Runs, shovels underneath, and Chua gets denied. What a retreat. 
ejection from Reed. But ultimately, he's this a winning oh. player and does it on both ends of the floor as well as almost anybody in this league. Hard, strong rebound. Brunson with Ananobi to his left. Brunson weaving, floating, and hitting. But for me, this Knicks team and then really the higher group have been so impressive to watch. Most of the time, these things don't translate to the NBA. With the throwdown. 16 for Brunson also has five assists. In the then Tyrese Maxey is a streaky fucking shooter too. That's the weirdest shit in the world. Like your secondary best player is a streaky shooter. Then you have somebody that specializes in three point shots. But you feel me? He's not really in that age. Like if you gave me a year three, year four Raptors, uh, Kyle Lowry, you feel me? I, I, hey man, I, oh my god. Kyle Lowry's role has been so diminished. Oh my God. Brunson lays it in plus the foul and a chance for three for Jalen Brunson. Trying to work Maxi. Left handed. Maxi dishes to the corner. Unfortunate that he had to deal with that injury this year because it really felt like this year could have been. Hold on. Year. First off, timeout, ref. Timeout, coach. Timeout, coach. Ain't no way I just seen this man Kelly Oubre just take a shot. Ain't no way I just seen that man Kelly Oubre just take a three ball and not only take a three ball, it was nothing but that that thing. Hold on, big dog. Hold on, big dog. I'm about to get angry. And the lead is back to five for Philadelphia. And a new rebound coming flying. On a new B. Ooh. That was fake. Come on now. The Knicks just three for yeah. 14. DiVincenzo now 0 for 4 from 3, 0 for 6 from the 4 as Harris muscles his way to the cup. So this game might seem a little bit slower than a regular season, but it's only because good teams don't do hey. the negative hey. I'm sorry, Jalen Brunson is so tough, and Jalen Brunson is left-handed, and he's so tough. But the th only bad thing about Jalen Brunson that I've seen over like the last like year or so, bro, and you can you can say this is hate or whatever may have you. I don't give no good goddamn. This man, Jalen Brunson, doesn't wear the number twelve on his shoulder. All he needs is one more digit. Put that twelve on, bro. You will gain superpowers, Jalen. You already have the three keys, man. You're left-handed. You're at least six something. You feel me? No athleticism. We're shooters. Free throw merchants. You feel me, dog? Oh my goodness, I'm getting angry. Able to finish plus the foul. Jalen Brunson. Now the Knicks trying to move with some pace. Josh Hart. Josh Hart taking more than five dribbles is hilarious. The screen from DiVincenzo. Now has Payne on it. Brunson goes right around Payne, and Payne blocks him from behind. It looked like there was a chance it's not innocuous. Could have been, but there's a chance it wasn't. Oubre in the corner. Yeah! What Nick Nurse was asking for from the scores around Maxi and Embiid is DiVincenzo finally slashes in a three. Payne, a deep one. Time to fuck out. Time to fuck out. Time to fuck out, ref. Time to fuck out. Our offense lives and dies by Joel Embiid. Did I just seen this man, Cameron Payne, take a three, bro? I say, did I just see him take a three? Did I see it? Because I'm disgusted. He not, bro, he's a guard that plays in the exceptional defense. But you feel me? He's just a little bit small. He got to get stronger. Five for 17, but it feels like every time they hit Boom! Shot, Out there with Bell's palsy. We're not fighting right now. No, please! Ooh!
Yeah, no, bro, him. they keep going for this man, bro. And this man, Joel and B, keep crawling. He keep falling to the goddamn ground, but he has to. He has to just fall to the ground. Bro, this man got a fucked up knee, but battling with half his fucking face paralyzed. You feel me, big dog? And then every fucking move he making is just injuring more of his body. Now, if they do have a deep run in this fucking playoff series, if they do go fucking far in this goddamn series, we're not going to make it out the third goddamn round, bro. And it's pissing me off because our only offense is Joel Embiid. The rest of our team, not saying that we can't win, but I'm just saying that we gonna get our ass bust. <sighs> That's how I done said it. It was going to be a physical environment, and it is not disappointing. The Knicks, the Philly, the fan base, everybody is locked in right now. It's pride on a three. That trade of R.J. Barrett and quickly. And Nobi unable to finish from three. Here comes Payne. leading by one and be great look oh what a rejection from josh hart and at last hits philadelphia brunson looking to take Embiid, two to shoot brunson gonna have to brunson running away oh my he got it to drop what the fuck shovels the chew of no there is the rejection and anobi gets blocked initially but follows through the first 40-point 10 assist game in Knicks playoff history belongs to Jalen Brunson. Was I lying about the best player to put on a Knicks uniform in 20 years? No. As Hart comes up with a rejection, Brunson, no. Oubre the rebound. This five-point advantage, the Knicks' largest lead of the day. Maxi twirls inside and finishes. I'm still in that fucking move. Uh, that, first of all, this man, Tyrese Massey, he fast as fuck. But I'm about to realize I get a treadmill in the basement. I'm really just going to work on my cardio, work on my speed, realize getting up there is because I'm young right now. And I really want to be up there, knees like. Like, really up there hiking, feel me, vomiting, all that skinny abs, sexy. Because right now we got, got some, bro, Tyrese Maxey give me motivation. And I'm older than him. Yes, sir. Hey, now. Hell, hey, now. We're too quick. Here's Bronson through the lane. Cups it in. 42 for Jalen Brunson. A new playoff career high. Here's MB. Double comes. They reverse it. Maxi on the attack. Oubre on the flush. Now one, one more pass. What we would have won. Back and forth between the two guards. Lowry gives it up. And B gets denied. But it's Shua. Brunson. Off to Hart. Back to Brunson. Wasting time. Brunson floats it in. Why is the lane that open? Four-point game as Maxi hits the free throw. Batum inbounds. Embiid fakes the jumper. Hart flies inside and can't finish. Hart the board. And Hart is fouled. But Achua has been the better option for Tom Thibodeau today and has come through in a big way. Hart misses both. Rebound Batum. 15 seconds remaining. Maxi dashing. Turning. Kicking. Lowry's three. Off the mark. Follows it up and gets <laughs> Lowry going to the line. Lowry misses. It's tipped out. Brunson has it. The whole point was, oh my God, the whole point was to get Kyle Lowry to miss. He missed it at a decent angle so we could get the ball, force to three, force the game into overtime. That was the play. And we missed the play because this man, Kyle Lowry, he, this is like his third time not hitting the big shot that we needed, knowing damn well he's a three-point specialist, knowing damn well he's a sniper from that arc, knowing damn well he's been pulling these shots since he was in preschool, bro. This is the third or fourth time that you haven't came up clutch when we really needed you, Kyle Lowry. Now, you're a bucket out there. I need you to remember, Kyle Lowry, you are a bucket. I'm transferring as much as I can to you right now, Kyle Lowry. You are the Damian Lillard of the role players, man. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, bro. God damn it, bro. Off right. Playoff record, 47 points for Jalen Brunson. If we're running out of time, there wasn't enough time to get the shots up and to foul and do all the necessary things. Embiid, man. 
misses and that will do it. The Knicks hang on in game four. You got dudes over here. You got dudes over here, Joel and B shooting on basically one fucking leg, bro. The fact that he even hit one three was a goddamn miracle. And take a commanding three one series lead. I'm disgusted. Like I said, if we even do make it far in this series, we're not going to make it far enough to even matter. Joel B is, is literally the team. He literally is the 76ers. Without Joel B, we're basically in, in phase one. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, he's there. He's getting there, at least. He won six men of the year, or most improved. One, one of those fucking shits he won. And um, there's a lot more games that I'm going to react to, and this was just one of them. So I'll catch you all in the next one. I want to get this video to 10 likes, man. And I'm out.